You know, there's a movie that's been in development and, and finally underway that has been the source of some controversy for some people. Some people think it sounds great. Some people think it sounds bad. A lot of other people are just kind of taking a wait and see approach. And that's for the new Uncharted project. Now, Uncharted, you know, caused a bit of a stir at first because they cast Tom Holland. Tom Holland, who is very popular right now, but not the age or maybe the current image that a lot of people think of when they think of Nathan Drake, right? So some people like the news, some people didn't like the news, what have you. Then Mark Wahlberg joined, which was interesting because for years, Mark Wahlberg was attached to be an Uncharted as Nathan Drake. But instead now, he finally joins this movie, but he comes in as Sully instead. He's going to play Sully. Well, the movie is now actually shooting. They've got this movie now up and running. It's actually shooting. And we've actually got our first kind of peek at, you know, the uh, at Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg on set. These are obviously not official releases, but we see them in suits and all that kind of stuff. Now, it should be. It's interesting. If you look back at I don't know if this is a direct connection or not. But if you look at Uncharted 4, Thief's End, where they really introduce young Nathan Drake, um, there's a scene in that where they kind of sneak into like some kind of art, some kind of art uh, auction sort of thing where they get dressed up in that. I don't know if these pictures are direct relation to that that was in the game or if it's just a totally different thing altogether. But it's <clears> not <throat> the pictures you expect to see. You expect to see some jungle no. adventure going on, right? But these are the pictures. Remember, these are not officially released by the studio. These are just the pictures that somebody snapped on set and, and released. So it's kind of interesting. The, the big news to me here is just that the movie's officially shooting, Rob. I mean, that's that's the thing. This has oh, yeah. been this has been literally a seven or eight year journey to get this movie actually going and in front of the cameras. And now here it is. With yeah. it now shooting, I'm sure it's going to re-spark the debate about whether this is even a movie, you know, they should be making right now. I'm still of the belief that I like the casting of Tom Holland. Tom Holland is in his mid-20s. He's a terrific actor. I think going with somebody that young gives them a... This is this is a guy who could play Nathan Drake for the next 15 years. With, without any problems. Without any problems, he could play Nathan the Drake for the next years. 15. <laughs> for, for the next... Yeah, if you wanted to, for the next 30 years, for sure. I just yeah. think it's going to be interesting... So uh, I think this is pretty cool. Rob, you see that this is a movie that after all the years of development and the director changes and the casting changes, like this is like eight years in the making. Here it is now. It's actually shooting. What's your, what are your thoughts? Well, you know, it, I actually am always happy to see these kinds of things because it means the producers, the studio, the actors, many people that carry the torch for certain projects that are passion projects or projects that really want to do. I love seeing that because it's far easier to scrap projects uh, after after a time unless they're, you know, sometimes sometimes projects have been in development for so long. There's so much money against them that it becomes really difficult to actually put them into production because they've already been so expensive when nothing's been made. So it's really great to see this this happen. I, and I love seeing to me, these kinds of things are a win. I, I've told you before on the show. I love the Uncharted games. When I played the first Uncharted, it was the first video game I ever sat down and I played it from beginning to end. It took me like 13 or 14 hours. I was so obsessed with the the characterization, the storytelling, the cutscenes. I was so involved with the characters. Uh, it was like it was the first time I felt like I was actually playing a movie. So I'm rooting for this movie, man. I want it to be great. I'm hoping it's going to be great. You know, the video game movie curse, it's not like we've ever really got a great one. But I think if there truly could be a transcendent, great video game movie, this could be the one. I'm excited for this, man. I'm putting all my hopes and dreams into this film. <laughs> I, I, I agree. I think out of all of them that are out there right now, Uncharted is the best positioned to, mm. to truly break the curse. I mean, we've had some, like, the last Tomb Raider movie was actually not bad. I, I thought the last Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider movie we just recently got a couple of years ago, I actually didn't think that one was all that bad, which is glorious no. praise for, cop, for, for video game movies, I should say. But I, I, I'm not going to get my hopes too high because there have been two other films that I was convinced twice before would be the film to break the video game curse. 
One was Assassin's Creed. Yeah, me too. And and that is like an all time awful movie, like an all time awful movie. And then the other one that I was convinced was going to break the curse was Warcraft. Which, by the way, the Star Warcraft uh, from uh, Vikings is now in that uh, um, show on HBO Max, uh, Raised by Wolves. He's one of the stars yeah. of that thing. But and I didn't I actually didn't mind Warcraft. There, there are elements about Warcraft that did work for me, but me clearly too. not the movie that was going to break the curse. And so now we've got the next one up to bat, which is Why do you uh, this think one. That is why, John, is it so hard <sighs> to translate a video game into a movie? I think there are, there are t my personal opinion is that there are, are two things. One is the not as important thing, but one is just the art of adaptation. You know, I think sometimes we've seen filmmakers try too hard to, to force elements of the game into the movie that just don't work for a movie. And they right. kind of get lost in this battle of how do we please the fans of the game while also trying to figure out how to make a good movie when really they should just be focused on trying to make a good movie period. Cause that'll make everybody happy. Like winter soldier, uh, not winter soldier, um, civil war, captain America, civil war is a great example of that. Kevin Feige didn't worry about sticking true to the comic books at all. And they said, let's just make a great movie and keep the right, the same themes. And it made mm -hmm. everybody happy. Winning cures everything. You put out a great movie, everybody forgives anything else. But I think the second reason is probably the most predominant reason. It's really hard for them to make a good video game movie because it's really hard to make a good movie at all. Uh, and, and I right. think when you combine those two things, I mean, everybody, Kevin Feige has kind of ruined everything for a lot of people because Kevin Feige has made it look like it's easy. Like with the MCU and everything, everybody now just thinks, oh, it's easy to make a great video, a comic book movie. Really? Because 40 years of Hollywood history would suggest otherwise. But I mean, that is the thing. He's kind of made it look easy. So I think when you look at the combination of it's the art of adaptation is very, very difficult combined with the fact that it's just hard to make a good movie at all. But yeah, because you're talking about a genre that's like 0 for 30 or, or something like that. What do you see as being the main culprit of of trying to make like a really great audience critic, everybody beloved uh, like video game property? Well, it, it, it's interesting because, you know, I think people get caught up in the fact that it's actually a game when really they should just concentrate on the fact that it's a story. Like you could look at all of these games, the the single play mode it's a story it's it's laid out and if you forget that it's a game and you just think of it as a story and go okay here's the beginning of the story here are the plot points you know you can go on youtube somebody will have made a cut scene and a, a playthrough of it so you 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 break it down and forget it's a game and just treat it like a story and i think so often like you pointed out they're always trying to work in things about the gameplay and all that and i'm like that just doesn't it's it doesn't work, I, and I think they they get caught up. It's it's kind of like, you know, the reason that comic book movies I think were so hard to adapt is because people looked at them as comic books first and stories second. Mm, they they great they, point. they didn't. They're like they're like this is just a comic book. It doesn't have to be realistic. We don't you know we don't have to make. That's why you got red brown and captain america you know it, it, they the suits you go back and you look at like the thor from the incredible hulk it's like no verisimilitude but once you take comic books and you think of them as the same kind of source material as say pride and prejudice a classic novel they're both stories and forget about the mediums they came from the same and i think that's the problem with video game movies is they got they have to do what they did with comic books and treat them as stories and forget the medium they originated in because that's not a movie anyway so who cares take the story adapt the story nathan drake is a great character trust in that trust in the story and trust in the character as always right uh, i like what you're saying there all right guys question is what do you think about this? We've now got Uncharted is actually in front of the cameras. It is shooting. We got Mark Wahlberg, Tom Holland finally on set shooting it. What are your feelings about it right now? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.